okay I had to move it over here so the you know these there, there's a problem with this diagram here the uh, it, the the string shapes are different whereas the intervals are the same okay so uh, we have the cage relationship between the two and the three because they're right next to each other and then we have the fifth of D is A to get to the sixth. But the intervals are the same. So I'm working on that. Um, I wonder if I could show you just for a second. All right, I'll just show you a little preview of chart 151, which is uh, just the first two instances. And there's going to be like um, five other charts of this. So I've separated them out. So we have the G shape here, and, and this is the root arpeggio. It's the root arpeggio pattern stack. And then we have the, uh, the Dorian pattern stack. So what does it mean? The pattern stack is all P4 tuning, and you just select six strings anywhere here, and that will give you all you know instances there's five instances of six strings here so here's uh, one two three four five six you know from I guess this would be uh, it would be uh, six seven roots so it'd be six to six here it's hard to see because this these are triads now we're not dealing with just a regular ten string pattern stack but we can do the same things so let's just choose the three to three because we have we can uh, get that three there. So all we have to do for the three to three, first of all, is decide we're not going to look at this. So now we're starting to look at, we got six strings at least. Now we just warp these two over, you know, to compensate for that, um, for that third in that, in the second highest string there, right? We're going to compensate for that third instead of a fourth by warping it up a half of a, a one fret or a half tone. And now we're looking at something else. We're looking at the C shape. So this has its own shape now. You can put a C there because you got three, four, five is the string shape. And then the uh, C shape goes to the uh, <clears throat> G shape, which would be six, seven root. G shape goes to the D shape, two, three, four. D shape goes to the A shape, five, six. It's like it's like a little rest point at the A shape, five, six. Whew. There's not three notes there. And then the A shape goes to the E shape, seven, root two. And back to the E shape goes back to the C shape, three, four, five. So we follow that on the magic circle, and we'll we'll get to that in the lesson. We'll use it when we get the magic circle in view. It'd be nice to put a magic circle right here. I could do that, um, but it's better to 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 explain why these have to be separated because they're so we can show the different shapes. So I just went up the shapes there again, uh, but this would be the C arpeggio box. So you know it's in the C box, uh, the C shaped, the C shaped box. Okay doesn't necessarily mean it's you know key of CC uh, or whatever it was it, it's the C shaped from three to five here it is the key of CC box so we've got five which is G five root three five five sorry root three that's it and then five again so that's how that pat these pattern stacks work okay so we're gonna um, go back to this right here so that's a little explanation we're going to see that in the next chart we're going to be talking all about that the sevens are there to to get a locrian seventh out of the dorian okay and but the shapes are all the same and that's what i wanted to show you that the shapes are the same for the minors and the majors and i'll show you where that is in this diagram so let's look at let's look at that C shape right here okay and and we have it we have a, a C shape C right here 
five root three five root three into a little D shape up there but guess what if we start that on the fourth if we start the fourth from in a uh, C shape which would be we'd have to start on the C now which would be the root we get the same thing now look at this root four six root four six little D shape up there so it's the same thing and then moving up just one uh, one more uh, whole step the, you know, we start on the, f the relative fifth of the fifth is the second right so we start here and go on up so it's two five seven and there's our little D shape up there and here's our C shaped chord so they are shaped the same so that's why I can show them all on the same diagram okay and where we started was kind of like, um, I guess we started from the fifth. Okay, so uh, that this would be, uh, but we didn't start from this fifth. This is started. This fifth is on the inner. We started on an outer fifth. So we started here. We went root five, three, root, and then when these are warped over, you'll get your D shape. When these are warped up, we saw that. So I could put all three of them on one. Um, the the ten string pattern stack is the same thing, but it's this one. This diagram is divided with the uh, into the uh, S2L and the S3L patterns, and these I learned before I actually started to assign. Um, letter names to these and these letter names correspond to the bottom string of that cage shape so if we go three to three here and we just take this uh, this part and warp it over right just simply warping it over so we're going to bring that over here we're looking at the C shape now we're making a C shape Okay, so there it is. There's your C shape right there. The bottom string, this becomes a C shape. See? Uh, 5 root 3, 5 root 3. It's a C shape. Don't worry about what's up here at the moment. Okay, so we're not looking at that. We're just looking at this. So we grab six strings of that. We've got our C shape. So I call this the C shape pattern. Now, indeed, it works out that you can, the six seven root is the G shape pattern that would be the bottom string if we made ourselves a G shape pattern we could do that as long as we don't do five edits more than five edits we can't go uh, backwards so if we start from six to six here real quick okay that's what we're gonna do six to six right there all we gotta do is grab the grab the top two strings and move them over. And we made ourselves a G cage. Just like that. A G in. Now, of course we're not looking at this now. Okay, and we're not looking at this bottom half of the S this S2L. And there's our G shape, right? Start on the six, which would be A in the key of C. G shape, D shape, A, take a breather. Now, shape fitting A to the E, we have to bring this go over to get that seven. Because from the two, three, five, six, root two, we've got our little S3S there that's part of the G pentatonic that's our C so you can do all that stuff with all five cage shapes so we've got basically 